Theodore Roosevelt, 26th President of the United States, and one of the most iron-willed men to ever sit in the executive seat. TR, as he liked to be called, was a complicated man, a mass of contradictions, and he could not be bullied. As such, there are many things the modern world seems to have forgotten about old Teddy Roosevelt. Here we'll be looking at just a few. Roosevelt was a very tolerant man, and loved people of all races. White people, pale people, people with slight tans, even people who had spilled white paint on themselves and refused to wash it off. Roosevelt was a notorious environmental conservationist, sometimes caring more for the flora and fauna of America than his own children. In 1902, working conditions for laborers in America became so poor that coal miners went on strike. Roosevelt knew that without coal, the entire Northeast would freeze. It was under his fearless leadership that he personally put his children to work in each coal mine across the nation saving America's industries. Teddy believed that it was America's responsibility to civilize the rest of the world, which blossomed in him a deep hatred of South America. His plan was to slice through the Central American landmass, to fully and completely separate North America from South America. And thus, the Panama Canal was born. He hoped that in time, this would cause his people to forget that South America had existed at all. Theodore believed in strong-arm diplomacy between America and the rest of the nations in the Western Hemisphere, and was famously quoted as saying, Speak softly and carry a big stick. He really put those words into practice with his passing of the Monroe Doctrine, which was an official presidential order that decreed that if any foreign power so much as made fun of America, Roosevelt himself would personally sail to their country and assault their leader with a big stick. While in office, Roosevelt only had to enact this doctrine four times, and each time, he didn't say a word about it. At the end of his term, Roosevelt announced that he would be leaving by train, and he would never return. Thousands flocked to see him off, wishing him well. His famous last words, So long, you dumb motherfuckers! still touch the hearts and minds of American citizens to this day. <laughs>